Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to be taking you through the brand new DreamCloud Foam Collection of mattresses. Now this is a sibling collection to their very popular DreamCloud Hybrid mattresses that we've shown you in other videos. So we're excited to show you all three models in this brand new lineup. Stick around. All right, so let's start out by talking about what all three of these DreamCloud Foam mattresses have in common, as well as we'll get into how they compare to their counterparts in the DreamCloud Hybrid lineup. But as far as the former goes, they do share a number of common elements across the three models in this foam side. And the number one thing is that they all use the same support core, which is a nine inch uh, block of polyurethane foam that is distinguished really by how firm it is. So it is just a, just a very firm block of polyurethane foam relative to the foam cores that we see used in other mattresses on the market. And one of the sort of side byproducts of that is that it happens to give these mattresses quite a nice strong edge, particularly vis-a-vis -vis sitting on the edge of the mattresses uh, relative to other foam mattresses that we've tested. So uh, that's kind of a nice feature that we'll get into more as we talk about the specific models and their characteristics. The second thing that they all have in common is really uh, they all use in their comfort layers some combination of uh, gel memory foam over a gel polyurethane foam below it that's not a memory foam, that was something that they call soft contouring foam. And so they use some combination of, of those two materials with the memory foam being on top of the soft contouring, just sort of regular gel foam. And that's common across all three of the models. And then on top of the mattress, we get into the things that are common not only across all three of these foam models, but also uh, that they share with their counterparts on the hybrid part of the line, which is that the cover and the quilt really are exactly the same. What you have here is a cashmere blend cover that uses the same exact uh, quilt pattern as what you see on the hybrid part of the line. Inside of the quilt is the same combination of memory foam and gel foam that you have on the uh, hybrid part of the line as well as that is consistent across all three of the foam models that we're going to show you in this video. You have uh, really the same kind of tape edges and side panels as well as the same handles. So the aesthetics really line up and are very consistent and similar across the two, the two lineups as well as within the two lineups on that front as well. All right, so now let's get into the specific models in this collection, and we're going to start at the entry level. And this is a brand new collection, so the model names are kind of subject to change or even creation, if you will. Right now, they're just being referred to by their heights. So this would be the DreamCloud Foam 12-inch model. And the construction of this model is quite simple. It has that 9-inch foam core that I already described to you. Then above that, you have one inch layer of that soft contouring foam, that, that gel foam, that polyurethane gel foam that I mentioned. And then you have another one inch layer of the gel memory foam above that. And then you have the one inch quilt, which consists of some of the gel memory foam and some of the gel foam kind of uh, both quilted into the cover fabric. So that's how you get, th those are essentially your three layers on top of the support core. In terms of the feel, we would rate this model as a medium firm on our softness spectrum. And by the way, feel classifications are entirely preference based. So there's no better or worse with regards to any of the feel metrics that we provide in this video. These are simply a matter of matching a mattress that's going to best meet your personal preferences. But we would classify this as a medium firm, which is the category we have just to the firmer side of medium. And even within that classification, we put it at the firmest end of that particular classification. Um, with regards to the cushioning depth, which is the difference between sort of sleeping in your mattress versus on your mattress, we'd put this one as slightly shallower than average cushioning, so a little bit more towards the sleeping on your mattress end of that spectrum. Uh, and that's also gonna mean it has a little bit less conformance than uh, an average mattress might, uh, which is gonna be particularly pertinent to you if you're, for example, a side sleeper, because in, those, in that case, you're probably gonna want to have a little bit more conformance relative to if you're, for example, a stomach sleeper, where you're gonna want a mattress that has a little bit less. In terms of memory feel, this is a mattress that does have some memory foam in it, as I described. And it, so it does have some memory feel, but recognize that Memory foam is so pervasive these days that really the average mattress out there has some amount of memory feel. And we would say that overall, this particular mattress has about an average amount of memory feel. 
Uh, one thing I do want to touch on is repositioning when you do have some amount of delayed responsiveness and delayed recovery can uh, get a little bit more difficult. Overall, in this case, we'd say given the amount of memory feel and the amount of softness and cushioning depth here, we would still classify the repositioning here as good. And lastly, in terms of bounce, which is the final feel characteristic that we're going to talk about here, this is an area where these DreamCloud foam mattresses are going to differ substantially from their hybrid counterparts. And of course, those hybrid counterparts do use a pocket spring support core, which has a substantial amount of deep bounce to it. By contrast, these DreamCloud foam mattresses do not really have any bounce to speak of at any level of the mattress. So that certainly is a distinction uh, between the DreamCloud foam and the DreamCloud hybrid. And the last feature I want to talk about on this particular model is edge support, which I did mention up front is a strength of this uh, collection here in general, but particularly in the case of this model, we would classify the edge support of this model as excellent, which by the standards of an all foam mattress like this one is practically off the charts. Typically when we show you an all foam mattress and we assess the edge support, it usually comes with a caveat like, hey, you know, edge support isn't generally a strength of a mattress built like this. So usually when we're looking at a mattress that is excellent in edge support, it is a totally different construction type that has kind of different tools that it can use to create a strong edge. So to have a mattress that is this type of construction that, that gets classified kind of in league with those other types of mattresses in this particular area really is quite exceptional. All right, so now we've moved up to the next model in the lineup, which is the DreamCloud Foam 13 inch. And from a construction standpoint, the key difference here is that you're going to get about 50% more of those pressure relieving comfort materials up at the top of the mattress. So specifically, instead of one inch of that gel memory foam and, and one inch again of that soft contouring foam, that gel foam below it, you're gonna get one and a half inches of each of those materials in the same order so otherwise everything is the same, same quilt, uh, of course the same foam core that we talked about in the beginning. Um, but that is going to result in a bit of a different feel here. It's also gonna provide more pressure relieving capabilities for this mattress. Now in terms of the softness level, we would classify this as still a medium firm on our softness spectrum. However, it is certainly softer than the DreamCloud 12 inch, but it's just kind of not enough. I mentioned that that was at the firmest end of that spectrum, so the difference is not quite enough to bump it into being a medium on our softness spectrum, but nonetheless uh, softer than the 12 inch. In terms of cushioning depth, we do think that this one now, instead of being slightly shallower than average, would be pretty much average amount of cushioning depth. So that would be kind of an even blend of that sleeping in your mattress sensation versus sleeping on your mattress, sort of a combination of being hugged or cradled and floating above your mattress. Uh, and that's of course going to come with it more contouring, which complements for if you are a side sleeper, the additional pressure relief that you're going to get with this particular model. In terms of memory feel, while we said with regards to the 12 inch, uh, it had an average amount of memory feel. With the 13 inch, I would probably say has slightly more than average. Uh, so just enough, that extra half inch of memory feel is just enough more of that delayed responsiveness uh, and that kind of slow melting sensation to, to say it has slightly more than average amount of memory feel. Uh, and likewise though, as it relates to the ease of repositioning, uh, it does make it just a smidge more difficult to reposition, but we'd still say that the repositioning is pretty good. And of course the bounce is gonna be very similar across this entire collection, which is to say that there's very little bounce here to speak of. And then moving to edge support, here we would say, again, the edge support here is very good, not quite as good as what we were uh, describing with regards to the 12 inch model. The additional softness here does uh, at the top of the mattress, that is, does soften the edge just a smidge, but still, again, very good on edge support, which is still a standout score for an all foam mattress. All right, so now we've arrived at the top of the line within this brand new Dream Cloud foam collection of mattresses. This is the Dream Cloud 14 inch. In terms of construction, the change here is gonna be pretty straightforward here. Again, here, you're gonna be using those same two pressure relieving comfort layers, uh, but you're gonna get even more, another half inch of each of them. So now you're up to two inches of the gel memory foam on top of two inches of, of that soft contouring foam, that gel polyurethane foam beneath it. Uh, again, those are the same two materials in the same softness levels and everything used in all three of the mattresses. So it's really only um, the amount of them that's being changed as you move up through this line. 
Uh, what that results in, in terms of the feel of this mattress, is it is the softest of the group. We would classify this one as a medium on our softness spectrum. And likewise, it also has the deepest cushioning. So um, even though we would also classify it kind of the same as the as the 13 inch, it has it's within that classification, it's a little bit deeper. So we'd still call this one slightly deeper than average cushioning. It's not uh, necessarily deep cushioning, but you're gonna get slightly more of that sleeping in your mattress or hugged or cradled sensation than uh, maybe on an average mattress. In terms of memory feel, you are gonna have a little bit more memory foam in this mattress, another half an inch of memory foam. And therefore we did find just a little bit more memory feel, but still we would classify it as uh, just slightly more than average amount of memory feel. And that is going to maybe make it just, a, again, a smidge harder to reposition on, but still okay in terms of the ease of repositioning. Uh, in terms of bounce, once again, no bounce to speak of here at any level of this mattress. In terms of edge support, the additional softness at the top of this mattress does soften the edge just a touch, enough to maybe take our rating down a smidge, but we would still call this good in terms of its edge support, which again, relative to other all foam mattresses, is easily a top quartile score. So there you have it. We hope you found this to be a helpful overview of this brand new collection of DreamCloud all foam mattresses. Now we covered a lot of ground in this video and we did it pretty quickly, but there was a lot that we didn't have time to get to. So if you are serious about these mattresses, I'd recommend going to our website, goodbed.com and using our compare tool, which will let you see all of our ratings and assessments that we do for each mattress. And you can put all three of these mattresses side by side and really get a better understanding of how they compare to one another, as well as how do they compare to their counterparts in the hybrid part of the collection. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we really hope you sleep well.